Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display deprecated components in your eCatalog panel. Now, a deprecated component might be a component that was modeled and used in a previous version of the software, a component that is still under development, for example, in its alpha or beta stage, or just an older version of a component. So when using a deprecated component, beware that you may encounter some issues. Now, if you want to show deprecated components in the eCatalog panel, Go to the Collections pane here, right click, and then select this checkbox called Show Deprecated Components. So if I select it, I have my All Models Source, or I'm sorry, my All Models Collection selected here. You can see I now have over 4,000 items. Now, by default, your 4.0 product will come with a legacy library, and that's where most of these deprecated components are coming from. So in the Collections pane, you can click Edit Sources and Add Collections, then click Edit Sources, and in the Sources window, you can see there's that legacy library. It's provided by Visual Components. It is turned on, but right now it's not visible in the eCatalog panel. So I can select this checkbox here, click Close, and we can see the source listed here. So if I select it, here are all those deprecated items. Now the way to tell if a component is deprecated is by looking at its metadata. So if I right-click one of these items and click View Metadata, you can see it has this field here called Is Deprecated and its checkbox is selected. So this item, or this component, is marked as being deprecated. So if I close this out, right-click and clear the Show Deprecated Components checkbox, notice what happens. I still have that source selected, but it's not displaying any of the items because they're deprecated. So if I right-click again and show the deprecated components, I can now see these components and load them into the 3D world. So if I load that conveyor, you can see I can still use this conveyor and it probably will still work. So let's actually go to our models by type, then click feeders and add a basic feeder. See it connects, here comes the part, and it still goes along the conveyor. But this is not the most up-to-date version of this component, but you can still use it. So let's actually delete these components. Now this legacy library is a remote source, so if you want a local copy of it, you can just right-click the source and then click this option here called download local now. So this will download all these components and items to your Visual Components folder in your Documents library. Now, if you don't want it to be located there, you can go back to the Edit Sources, or the, sorry, the Sources window here, and you have this checkbox here to keep a local copy. And if you click Options, you can change the folder of where your local copy will be stored on your device. So let's close this out. And to give you one more example, you can make a component you create in your 4.0 product deprecated. So if I go to my My Models folder here, I'm sorry, my My Models collection, notice I have two items. I have one component and a layout. So if I right-click this component, it is a local component, so I can edit its metadata. Notice I have a field here called Is Deprecated. So if I select this, I'm now marking this component as deprecated. So if I click OK, I can still see it, but if I now clear the Show Deprecated Components checkbox. Notice I no longer see that component. But if I right-click again, Show the Deprecated Components, there it is. Let's actually mark this as not being deprecated, so I'll edit its metadata. Clear the Is Deprecated field here, the checkbox. Click OK. And if I now turn off this filter here to Show Deprecated Components, I can still see the component because it's no longer marked as being deprecated. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day.